Yo. Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752, and this is your daily go get ism number 906. Broadcasting here, you know, we taping here right in the middle of Fern Hill Park, Germantown Stand Up. You know what I mean? This is like one of my favorite parts growing up. We come out here, this is the swings, the cookouts. They used to have a carnival here in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the beginning of the fall. It's a good look. I would have did the video down Happy Hollow Pro, um, Playground, but somebody was guaranteed to take the camera if I do it down Happy Hollow Playground. They'll play. <laughs> you sleep on the G if you want, man. Down down the Hollow. Anyway, anyway, so we doing this. Um, I'm just playing about Happy Hollow and them, them stealing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just <laughs> No, but on the real, today I want to talk to y'all about the injured party. The injured party. Sometimes sometimes we hurt people's feelings without really knowing that we hurt them. Feelings do matter. You know, in this day of social media and everything, we, we dumb down people's feelings. Like, your feelings don't matter, but they do matter. And a lot of times people harbor resentment from things that happened to them a long time ago. And you don't really find out that they feel that way until it comes up in conversation or until they get put in situations where it's going to come out where it shows, where they may show some fear or some hesitation or some lack of trust or whatever. And then you realize like, oh, you could be the one that perpetrated the, the, the act against them that made them be injured, or it could be somebody close to you, or it could be somebody that you never even knew about, somebody that you never heard of, somebody that you never encountered. But you have to deal with the person that is the injured party, and sometimes the injured party could be you. It was an interesting thing, man. I put up a post today about, about people. I asked the question. I asked the question, do children who have been emotionally abused ever fully recover? And I got some real interesting answers today. Some very, very interesting answers. And, uh, you know, I realized that most people really do understand the part that abuse plays in their lives from a young age. See, it's, it's a crazy thing when you start talking about abuse, man. It's, it's a real crazy thing when you start talking about abuse, especially when you are a child. See, people think that you can just get over certain things as you grow, as you get older, as you learn new things, and you get exposed to different people. But people don't really realize that the child, the things that happen to you as a child shape the way that you are now. They make you into the man or the woman that you are now. So as a child, when you are exposed to a lot of violence, but you're also exposed to being told that you're ugly, that you're black, that you're worthless, that you're stupid, that you ain't never gonna be shit, those things sting. They do. You know, if you've ever been in a situation where no matter how hard you tried to please somebody, it was never good enough. You was always second rate. They always put somebody above you. They made you feel like you were totally, totally worthless, worthless and your efforts were always going to fall by the wayside. It's serious, serious shit. It really is. So when we're dealing with this, this kind of thing, what makes it even more, more detrimental to your whole makeup as you grow into adulthood is when you are a baby you have to depend on people who are older than you in order to raise you in order to protect you in order to make sure that you get the love attention and affection that you require and if those people that are are supposed to be responsible for that are the same ones that are responsible for making sure that you feel bad about yourself 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. What, do you, what kind of impact do you think that that's going to have on your life as you grow older? You know, you know, with children, children want to love. They want to trust. You know, it, it's like, it's sort of like a dog. And I, you know, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that children are like dogs, but they, they it, it's similar behavior in that a, a dog, as you raise a dog from a puppy, a dog is, is constantly trying to please you. You know, when you come home, they, they jump on you, they wag their tail, they're just so enthusiastic, they want to they wanna fetch for you, they want to do something nice for you, they just want you to be happy. 
and children are the same way. The same way. They look for love and attention and affection, guidance, direction. They look for that, they look for that from their parents. They look for that from their older siblings. They look for, for that from their aunts, their uncles, their grandparents. And if those are the people that are telling them that they're never going to be shit, that they're never going to have nothing, that they're never going to be nothing, that, they, that they're ugly, that they're stupid, who, they going, who are you going to trust? If the first people who were teaching you about trust are the same ones that are fucking up your trust for the rest of your life, what's going to happen to you? You know, we wonder why people do certain things in their lives and why they turn out to be a certain kind of way. Or if you've ever dealt with a man or a woman and, and uh, like on a romantic level, you know what I'm saying? I, I know a lot of sisters can relate to this. You know, you're dealing with a dude that just don't seem to act right. He, he just won't do right. Always getting in trouble. As soon as, as soon as opportunities come along for him, you know what I mean? He fucks it up and things like that. Or always jealous of somebody. Always envious of somebody. Always competing with somebody. A lot of that could be because of abuse. Being told that, you, that you're nothing. That you ain't gonna be shit. That you're ugly. That you're stupid. So that, that can make a person want to compete against somebody that they think has been told that they are great. That they're handsome. That they are the best. And in, my, and in our community, unfortunately... We may think that that happens because they might be light-skinned with cute curly hair or some shit like that. You know, we fucked up as a people, man. So, you know, when you when you think about this abuse thing, when you think about this, when you think about this, uh, this injury thing, things that happen to us when we're younger, it's real shit. This is real trap. And I'm glad that we're in a, in a state right now where a lot of people recognize how hard it is to recover from from being emotionally abused. I, I ain't get too much on the physical abuse thing. But I'll tell you this. With physical abuse, it almost always comes with emotional abuse. You know, very rarely do you get beat on a regular basis without being cussed out too. Very rarely. But some people don't even get their ass whooped physically. They just... Get their spirit whooped constantly, constantly. And I can tell you, damn, man, that ain't a good look. And it makes you wonder, how could anybody who says that they love a person, how could they do that? How could they be that way? How could they come off like that? I mean, and more, more than likely, people who emotionally abuse people have been abused themselves. But that's a whole nother day and a whole nother story. I don't want to give them no shine right now. Because we are the ones that have to deal with the victims. And there has to be a time when the victims get a, get their say-so. Get some understanding. In a couple of weeks, in a couple of weeks, we're going to do a show about that. We're going to break it down. You know what I mean? We're going to really go into this, have guests on the show and all of that kind of stuff. On the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. So look out for that. But I just wanted to put the bug in y'all ear. Because, you know what I mean? As I was reading the comments on, 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 on that post today... It was hitting me in the heart. I'm like, yo, man, that's serious. Because some people really think that you can fully recover from abuse. Like it's like 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 it's like somebody punch you in the face. You get a black eye. Yes, yes, you will fully recover from the black eye. Unless they like this. Unless they like dislodge your eye socket or something like that. But a regular black eye, a bloody nose, knock out a tooth and all of that, you can recover from that all the way. They haven't they haven't, you know scars you for life but when somebody breaks your spirit there ain't no band-aids for no for your spirit ain't no ain't no surgery for your for your spirit ain't no ain't no bandages ain't no you know ain't, ain't no medicine for that well they, they they have medicine for it but it ain't the medicine that you would want to take it ain't something that you would want to depend on that ain't that ain't what we we ain't dealing with that. Just wanted to holler at y'all about that today, man. You know, like, listen, if you don't get nothing out of this video, I'd like for y'all to get this. If you know somebody that's been dealing with a life with lifetime issues of, of 
mental and emotional abuse, try to work with them. I know that sometimes they can frustrate the shit out of you. Sometimes they can just make you feel like, like they ain't trying or like they use it as an excuse or a crutch all the time. And it may be true for some, but the, but the fact of the matter is that they're hurt and they've been hurt bad and they've, and they've suffered an injury that won't allow them to just pick themselves up. You know what I'm saying? You just chill. You know, I mean? you know. But we wear masks a lot of times, man. We we wear we wear a mask often to mask the shit that we've been through, to try to hide the pain. You know, nowadays that's that's how that's that's a big thing, hiding the pain. You know what I'm saying? You know, somebody throws shots at you, you know, you duck it. Well, that's what it is, man. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, when you're dealing with a person that has been dealing, really trying to deal with their issues, stemming from mental and emotional abuse, as a child, just know that somewhere along the line, the spirit has had, had been broken. And it may have been broken beyond quick repair. It may not be broken beyond repair forever, but without help, without somebody stepping in and really caring, showing that love, <laughs> maybe counseling as well, it's not going to just get better. We don't need people abusing each other, I mean, abusing the next generation. This generation got it bad. We don't need them fucking up the next generation. So, you know, take your time with these cats, man. Pull them to the side. If you know somebody is in pain, you know they hurt. Don't let the next generation be the victim or somebody out there randomly in the streets. You know what I mean? Because you know how that goes, too. A lot of these serial murders out here and all that kind of shit. Big spree killers and all that stuff. A lot of those, a lot of those cats have been fucked up for a long time. And they just snapped me. Daily Go Getemism shows every single day. 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call in number 319-527-6199. Blogtalkradio.com forward slash sun752. Peace. Yo, the sun started to come out, son. Hey, yo, the sun started to come out. That's what's up. I'll y'all later. I might play some tennis. Today.